Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last couple of months, if you have been viewing this channel, um, you will know that I've been posting a couple of videos just updating you on the new Edge sidebar in the preview version of Edge, mainly Edge Canary, which just gives you um, quick shortcuts to some quick actions you can launch from the sidebar in the uh, Edge Canary browser. Now I have noticed um, that earlier today, the stable version seems to have finally started receiving the new Edge sidebar, which at this stage um, is not um, attached to any um, update. I haven't noticed it rolling out with any recent updates. It seems to be on a controlled server side update once again. And um, the easiest way to enable the Edge sidebar is just to go to your menu and you'll see uh, near the bottom it says show sidebar. And now in the stable version, they've started to roll out some of the basic functions of the Edge sidebar with some of those quick actions. Not all of the uh, quick actions are available that you get in the Edge Canary, the preview version, but uh, this looks like Microsoft is starting to make it now available uh, in the stable version. And another way you can enable uh, the Edge sidebar um, is just to head over to your settings menu, appearance, and yeah, you'll also see a toggle show sidebar you can also toggle it on over there so just to do a quick recap um in case um this is new to you and you haven't seen the previous videos um uh, it's just basically gives you a quick action a shortcut so you got a bing search which opens that up in a, a side panel you've got a discover the discover feed which is basically a news feed then you've got a couple of tools which they've added you've got a world clock a calculator, a dictionary, a translator, a unit converter, and an internet speed test, which I have actually previously mentioned is quite accurate, that internet speed test. So those are uh, six tools. Uh, you can also use that open up in the site panel. Then you've got a games panel that just gives you access to different Microsoft games. And you've also can um, open those games up in different categories like match, card, word, puzzle, arcade, strategy, and so on. And then you have access to um, Microsoft Office in the site panel using that quick action where you have um, quick shortcuts to the different um, um, Office apps online. You've got some recent documents now as well. And then you also have a quick action to open Outlook if you use Outlook as your email client. And then if you go to customer sidebar, um, you can obviously you can toggle off any of those features that you don't want to, to be seen in the sidebar and if we just head down to the bottom of the sidebar and um, if you want to hide the sidebar you can just click that toggle and that will remove it and also at the bottom here you have access to settings which I actually think is a nice handy shortcut which takes you straight to your settings so just want to let you know um, that if you are using Edge, the stable version, um, that uh, the sidebar now seems to be on a controlled server side um, rollout and now rolling out to the stable version of Microsoft Edge on desktop. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.